Maybe if Farfa is still streaming next... When you say next week, Zelda, are you talking about Nadir is planning to just... Like, is he just... He's just not going to stop streaming? Like, what I'm saying is today is... It's about to be... It's Thursday. Are you telling me he's going to keep streaming until Monday? Like, what? Like, the entire time? He's doing a subathon. I mean, I get that. But, like... So, so, does he say, like, okay, I'm going to sleep for six hours chat and just record himself sleeping? Because I have seen people do that. I think it's kind of weird, to be honest. Like, weird in, in, in the cringe way, but people still do it? No. Well, there's no way he's just not going to go to sleep. Farfa was bad. I get that. But, like, he has other people come onto his stream to do com- Oh! Okay, so you're saying other people like okay for for all right all right okay that makes a lot more sense. That's still like a lot of he has other people stream for him. Okay, I uh, hold on, is this TOS? Hold on, no, not that. I I gotta see if this is TOS. So on Monday. Oh, never mind. It's not TOS. Okay. For those of you who missed out and uh, didn't. See what happened, and you're wondering what the hell's going on. He lets One his day, me stream during the night. And it I mean, but do they just like they just get on and play Dueling Book, or I, I I guess I need to like see the content. A certain progression reactor, as the prime progression reactors, me and Joseph Rothschild, we decided it would be a great fun idea to do a watch along together to celebrate the beginning of my subathon between myself and Joseph watching progression plan was good it went in motion we were ready to go we sat down 6 p.m comes around and we are here but then we realize how did porn get involved if he's if he's just watching a re like the progression series porn should only happen when you click a, la a random link in your stream how do two grown adult men watch a youtube video together from across the world in comes mavericks with the big brain play the huge NBC scrotum uh, See, cranium analysis. Be Here's a website. It's called watchtogether.net. Yeah, you go on website. that website, you create a room, you post the YouTube link, and it's perfectly synced between you and your friend or anyone else in the room. If you click pause on the video, it pauses it for them, etc., etc. So it's a synced YouTube thing. Genius, genius. All right, me and Farfa Joseph join the room. Enter do. Secrets of Eternity the... or whatever. Because, chat. It's more fun to just talk about Yu-Gi-Oh than actually play Yu-Gi-Oh. Thinking or whatever, whatever, whatever that emote is. It's more fun to just talk, especially, especially if you stream five days a week. I'm sorry, chat. No one wants to play Yu-Gi-Oh eight hours a day, five days. A it doesn't matter how much you love this game. No one just wants to play Yu-Gi-Oh 40 hours a week, chat. Just... It will kill your, it will kill any love you have for the game. It, it just will. And Nadir, even though he hasn't been playing the game as long as me, chat, he's been playing the game since Zexel. Like, that's well over a decade. You know what I mean? It's not like anything, unless you're net. I mean, unless you're just one of those junkies who, yeah, dude, I'll, I'm, I'm just hours and hours on Dueling Book. I got to be number one at all. Like, I guess them. You know what I mean? But, like, they get their high from just being number one on Dueling Book or something. But, like. Most people aren't like that. We're not wired that way. Wait, it wasn't Maverick? Anyway, Maybe we found the website. TLDR, we found the website. We but sit I'm, down I'm and we're way. about to click play. On Joseph's stream, exposed to everyone in the world, just bang, address at the top here. HTTP uh, forward uh, twitter.com slash farfawadja. By the way, follow me on Twitter. Okay. But instead, it was the room code that was being shown. So some Twitch viewer joins. <clears throat> The grade A comedian being the <laughs> Twitch chat. And remember, at this point, Farfa's live with, I think, 9,000 viewers. Damn! Front page of Twitch. Many people from the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Progression fans alike. Can I get a host? Press 1 if can I get a host, Farfa? Jeez! 9,000 viewers and can't even host Cap G once? What a friend you are. Hmm. All come to join to watch. 9,000 people witness Farfa. And Joseph live Jesus on stream, Christ. staring at a, at a at the watch together stream, and then suddenly, in front of all of these people, joins user one one nine three xx or whatever his name was, okay. and that man clicked copy paste on a YouTube link and hit enter. 
on our stream appeared sex <laughs> unfiltered and in front of the whole world to see sex just so it was it was sex from like a youtube video chat like someone posted porn on youtube um and then they you know by proxy like they ended up watching it or it was on there so I guess it, it was it's probably like a really small video or a video that was like just recently uploaded. It's crazy. YouTube is supposed to have like, I mean, I don't know how they can like auto filter slash instantly catch it. But there's a, when you upload a video now, chat, there, there's now like a screening process before your video can get monetized where they're supposed to like essentially screen your video. And it, it goes, that goes for like um, language and stuff like that's why that's why you see like Yu YouTubers don't real well, unless you're Simo, you know they don't really curse that much in in YouTube. I, I stopped cursing completely in YouTube videos, chat, because it's just you know like why why potentially lose money on a video when you just don't have to playing on so our stream. You don't want to see it for about 0.5 seconds before I instantly all F4 and close. No, it's not that bad. Me and Joseph hide behind the desk, run out of the stream, hit end stream immediately, unpublish the vods delete all the clips, strike all the YouTube uploads, and then we go back online live and everyone's like, hey, where did you go? Oh, sorry, I just had a connection issue. Obviously, it is against Twitch, uh, TOS, Terms of Service, etc. How do you get punished then? Unless he was, unless he was like literally on front page, how do you even get punished, chat? Or unless someone, like, if he instantly closed out his stream, deleted all the vibes and made sure that nothing was uploaded, like, it's still, no, I get it, but it, it's like, oh, he was on front page. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Because I'm like, if you if you destroy the evidence that quickly, there basically won't be, unless unless in Twitch, unless a Twitch admin was like in your stream, just, just watching it, you know, like that QVC guy chat, like, where's the evidence at? Like, you know, like, Twitch still has, oh, I never even thought about that chat. When you delete the VODs, Twitch still has <laughs> I never even thought about that. Just because you delete the VODs doesn't mean Twitch does it still have. <laughs> oh, I, ne I never thought about that, yeah. Twitch still has VODs, even if you delete the VODs. If, some if you do, like, something... Mm, damn, chat. Yo, should, should we just clean up our, our stream then, chat? Holy crap. No, this whole time, I never thought about that. I was like, bro, I could just break the rules as much as I want. As long as I delete the VODs, I'm okay. I never thought, like, hold up. Twitch got backups of everything we do. <laughs> wow. I'm Papega as fuck, chat. For anyone to uh, have that kind of content being that. played on their stream. You're too small. I know, obviously. but that's... What if I got big? Like, I feel like I would have already gotten banned. I never thought about the fact that, like, just because you delete the VODs doesn't mean anything. If Twitch thinks... If, if there's a, like... If there's a suspicion that you're openly breaking the rules, once you end the stream, they'll just go back and watch your VOD. Like, they still have a copy of it just because you deleted the... You're not really deleting the... I never thought about that. That's crazy. This is a family-friendly uh, website. Shoutouts to the a ASMR streamers. So, you don't really... I was going to say, parts of this website are family. T t Chad, is Twitch a family-friendly website? I would, I would say not exclusively. Like... You can't just, you can't go to every avenue of Twitch and just expect it to be family friendly. Like, yeah, I, I would say no. To, to be honest, no. I don't, I don't even, I don't even think they advertise themselves as a family friendly platform. They advertise themselves as a, well, they used to advertise themselves as a gaming platform. Now it's just like a streaming platform, but family friendly, I don't think qualifies. You know what I mean? Even, even amongst the stream chat, like cer certain streams will limit themselves to like, they'll, they'll say like 18 plus. Amanda LaPalm does that, by the way, too, which I don't understand. Her stream ain't even, like, crazy like that. But um, even outside of that, like, no, it's foul language, violence, uh, partial nudity. I think partial nudity could be anything except, like, as long as you don't show a nipple, basically. Like, you can show the whole booba, just not the nipple, and it's considered partial nudity. Like, Twitch has all of that stuff. I have family-friendly content. <laughs> no, the F you don't. Your stream, is, to be, uh, your stream is not family friendly. You have a potty mouth, Big Pimp. And I'm, uh, I'm doing that on Twitch. In all seriousness, um, that was all my bad. That was my fault. And uh, no one to blame except myself. So, 
on Twitch, you are responsible for all of the content that you show on your channel at all points of time, at any time, no matter the situation. It's like pre-PSET mask of restrict. No matter what the situation, <laughs> you are responsible as a streamer for what you show on your stream. So unfortunately- That was a good Yu-Gi-Oh pun. Not very often does it happen, but that was actually a good one. Apparently, I, uh, you know, got a ban for that. You can show girl um, nipples and I was games. already what game does warned it? about a month or two ago for showing explicit content on stream because I was stupid enough to browse my Reddit, thinking that people would post content on my Reddit that wasn't TOS, and I got warned for a meme Far of a salmon Reddit? great player um, autofillating himself because the caption was, when you open Cynet Mining Spinny or something. It was a really funny meme, but not appropriate for Twitch. So I had a warning for that. But because I had a warning already, it had to be it had to be upgraded ah. to a suspension. Hold on, there's... The unfortunate thing was, was that this was during my that. subathon. Kind of just tried to move past it and ignore it, because usually if you just end your stream, terminate, nuke all of the clips and VOD, usually it's done. But unfortunately, I got a 24-hour ban during the subathon, and I had to pause. And now we're back here, which is great and stuff. But, you dead. know, that does cause God, a huge dent in the in the whole sequencing, etc. So that's where we're at. Um, I just want to say unequivocally and explicitly, this is not MBT's fault. Even though I'm, I think... Yeah, it's not bussing. pre -errata, I go to America. I, I, I kind of get it. Simpsons foreshadowed the worst archetype in a... Uh, Recent memory. <laughs> um, something about Triff and Pendulums for Duel Links. Eh, you know what I mean? Reddit. Bro, Reddit is awesome. Reddit say, Reddit has changed my life, Big Pimpin. Reddit, Reddit has replaced Facebook. Facebook washed. The only good thing about Facebook is uh, cooking video of, of, is, is cooking videos like Asian cuisine. And, like, those videos where, like, people be cooking in the middle of, like, uh, I don't know. They'll, they'll be, like, on a random mountain or some shit. And they'll just be like, mm, let me make some lamb. But, like, Reddit is dope, bro. Come on. Reddit has Wall Street bets, short-haired hotties, like, all that stuff. Like, what's, what's not to like about Reddit? So. I think it was leaked Korean on his stream, the room code. Video, it might have even been mine at the same time. I don't really know. We yeah, both did Korean a bit. Street we both did a terrible job of uh, preparing for this, admittedly. Salsa. Did um did MBT get punished or no? I'm wondering if MBT because if you're saying that it was broadcast on both of their screens, then like no. Oh, interesting. Ultimately, I am the one who's responsible for it so because narrow, it showed up on really. my stream. I think he was scrolled down, so it didn't actually <laughs> He's show not up on his stream. Enough. Um, but I just want to say I take complete responsibility this for this. Obviously, um, user one one x nine three. Pissass is to blame as well, but in the end, I should be smart enough and well versed enough in Twitch culture and Twitch community. In the end, one x nine three responsibility for this. Obviously, um, user one one x nine three pissass is yo user one one three nine pissass did nothing wrong. Chat press one to free user one one three nine xs pissass. He did nothing wrong. Money can do anything. Get out of here, Farfetch. I think you can do this. Selza and SC think you can't. Prove the haters wrong, Bald. Sporkle? Is it Sporkle like Sparkle? But Sporkle? Okay. Thank it's you very much. To blame as well, but in the end, I should second. be smart enough and well versed enough in Twitch culture oh, and Twitch bad. community and Twitch standards and streaming and using OBS to the point that I should be um, vigilant enough to not. Why am I the only one that uses XSplit? These people make me feel like a pariah, chat. I don't think that I have seen another streamer who uses XSplit. It's like it doesn't even exist. Everyone uses OBS, 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 OBS. There's another platform, people. It's called XSplit. It's free, too. Have something like that happen. So it's is really my fault, shit. Um, which sucks. It's I know. I, I'm just I'm just stupid and, I guess, washed. a little bit too trusting of my, my view. Like, I'm just saying. There's a nut... No one uses XSplit anymore. I mean, they're still in business somehow, so someone's using Yours, it. but unfortunately, someone came and ruined it. I use OBS. It. So that's, that's what happened, it's and that's, Yahoo that's where Google. we're at. To the person, if you're watching, if you're the guy who joined the thing and did it, you know, I can sit and complain and, you know, bash and say, like, oh, what a fucking dumbass, this guy's such a piece of shit, what a terrible person, but you know what's funny? In your... You potty mouth, why is he cursing so much? 
this was a really, you know, this was a really enjoyable video until this, until this part. Wow, where, where did this come from? You so potty mouth, Nadir. I'm just, I'm just stupid and I guess a little bit too trusting of my, my viewer, which is vigilant enough to not have something like that happen. So Wait, it's really the, my fault, where's the um, at? which sucks. I know, not have something like, that. yes, to the point that I should be, um, which standards and streaming oh, and using, I I you, you had malicious intent. I thought, I, I, I genuinely believe in your brain, you thought it was like a good, like funny joke funny. to do, right? To show porn on a streamer's thing, right? But that's the thing, because of your juvenile understanding, and as a bit of advice to everyone in life, uh, you need to understand that your actions have consequences, especially if you're doing something that severely in, in, interacts with someone else. Potentially getting someone, getting someone banned, um, whose livelihood and job... Daddying the chat. Well... <laughs> I guess I don't have to daddy you guys. <laughs> I mean, what, Na what Nadir is saying is a very good point. The problem is, it's not. it doesn't necessarily resonate with this person because they essentially didn't face any consequences, right? Chat, Cap does it. I never daddy you guys. When, when do I ever daddy you guys? The only daddying that I've done for you guys is say that you, you should invest. But as far as like telling you you guys do this wrong and you need to stop doing that you zoomers yeah but that's not that's not daddying that's just that's just that's like old manning yeah that that's not that's not daddy daddying is like nadir is telling his stream like what is acceptable when what's not like i don't tell zoomers they can't do cringy stuff i'm just telling you know what's cringy you know y'all can still listen to your cringy music just you know i'm just letting you know what's cringy uh, surrounds and is based off of you know doing you a certain thing that is streaming and then you getting them to use X split uvu <laughs> you know banned for that obviously it's my fault totally but obviously it wouldn't have happened if you just didn't post that um, you need to understand that that has a knock on real life consequence effect on other people and other human beings I get that genuinely I truly believe whoever that person was that did it probably like didn't have bad intentions they just didn't have like the brain power foresight to look past the next 30 seconds and realize oh wait a minute someone could get very drastically seriously in trouble for this were they a zoomer pause champ imagine i was a smaller streamer a really much smaller streamer missing and skipping 24 hours of streaming content is potentially like the difference between you know uh, paying a bill or something for some smaller streamers for people you know I don't, I, that, I don't. I don't know about that. That's is 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 that that's that's what? No, like if if that's true. No, it's not Dolan. Like, bro, if you can't. If you're at the point where like missing one day stream means that you. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. This this comment just made me <laughs> streaming is a serious job, copium. <laughs> if you're at the point, chat, where missing one day stream means that you can't pay a serious bill in your life, you need to get another fucking job. Or you need to find other employment. And that that's that is me daddying the chat, chat. Like if it's if it's like, oh my god, if I don't stream this 28th day in a row. I can't pay my electricity bill, bro. Clearly, like streaming is not making enough money for you. Like you can still stream part time, maybe even almost as much as you were before, but clearly, like it's not bringing in enough revenue for you. Like make an adult decision, find other employment, chat. Like come on, get or or get good. I don't I don't care. I don't, I don't know what you need to do to get bigger, but like whatever it is, do that. You know, shameful stream like uh, Amaranth. Get a real job. I mean, that that's super reaching, chat. To be like, well, if I got banned, then I can't pay my electric. Like, bro, why why is why is the gap between your income and your expenses like why is it that thin, chat? Like, like that that's part of chat. If you guys don't know, that's part of like being an adult, right? Being an adult is like knowing I make eight hundred dollars a month. And my expenses are $600. I have a $200 threshold in case something goes wrong. But generally speaking, I've got a $200 threshold for me to just 
buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards or do whatever the fuck I want. Like, if if your threshold is like five dollars, that's a problem. That's that's like the danger zone. That's that's part of just being in it. That's like I don't. That's that's like the simplest form of fine. I, I learned about that chat when I was like twenty two ish, probably first time living on my own where I didn't have like my mom's money. Basically, I learned like oh. So I get this three hundred and forty dollar check every week, but dang, I gotta pay my half of the rent, and I have to pay for my own gas, and I have to pay for electricity. Like that's you know, you learn that stuff in like your early twenties, you know. Because understand, there's a spectrum of Twitch streamers, right? There's people who you know own a three million dollar house in Hollywood. Shout out to Hassan, by the way. I do genuinely love him. And there are streamers who, you know, make just enough to get by. Thankfully, I'm not that affected by it, but just understand that you, uh, you, you do things that have consequences to people's, you know, people's livelihood. And it's important that you recognize that. Where's your emergency And, uh, from? you know, I guess it's the whole chaotic, neutral, haha, joker. Fuck Hassan. I, I don't watch Hassan, but I, I kind of know of him, but I, I don't watch him. Her, uh... 4chan approach of uh, chaos. I want to see the world burn. But, you know, just try. I have to say this, chat. This this is just this is just the first thing that comes to my mind. I, I like Nadir, chat. I really like Farfa. However, does he or does he not invite this type? Like, I'm not saying that he invites people to post porn, but the whole haha funny, you know, daddy cut the isn't that like the isn't that like kind of the vibe of his stream? I, I don't know. I feel like it's I'm not I'm saying this person obviously went over the edge, but I don't know. I, I feel like he kind of created that culture. You know what I mean? This is what happens when you pander to the lowest common denominator. Um you get the lowest of the low. It's like Corson complaining about image. I, 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 that's that's just kind of what I'm saying. It's like I feel like he kind of cultivated th that that culture. So when the culture manifests manifests itself, like you can't really you know can't really cry about it. I mean, this is the this is not even the fifth time he's had this incident. Well, there you go. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like again, this is this is someone chat speaking from the outside looking in. So I could completely be off basis, and you guys could be like, "Cap, no, you're wrong," and this is why X, Y, and the third. But yeah, I just feel like he's kind of created that, you know, mommy, cock, booby, Jeff uh, culture. So when you create that culture, like some things like that are going to happen. I that that's kind of not a cool thing to do. And it really badly, really OBS. detrimentally affected me. Ultimately, at the end, split. can't blame anyone but myself. I just want to make sure that everyone is understand that I don't want anyone to like blame MBT for this. Because, you know, just in case someone said. Okay, I want to see what Big Pimpin's thing was about, but. This was this was interesting because I mean, I I mean I I if you told me Far forgot banned I I honestly would not I, I'm not sure what my guess would have been. It definitely would not have been porn on stream. I would have thought maybe I I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure what what my guess would have been like as as to why he got suspended. Israel, <laughs> Israel opinions. Uh, please do the big pimping link. All right.